What's up? I'm Adam. I'm Justina. And we are going to take a look at the new Q&A visual. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Justina, thanks for joining us today. It's great to be back. I hear you've got something new to show us that's very cool. Yes, I'm really excited. Okay. We have just released a new Q&A visualization. Excellent. So yeah, I'm very excited to show it to you guys. All right, and we're just going to cut right to it. So let's jump over to your laptop Sounds and take good. a look. So what you're seeing over here is a report about video games. And on the left-hand side, you will see our new Q&A visualization plotted right over here. So uh, you might be thinking, you know, we already have q and I, I, I was actually curious about that because we've had Q&A and we've had the Q&A visual inside of Power BI Desktop for a while now. Yes. So what we've actually had was not a Q&A visual. It was a Q&A button. The button. Yes. So you could do is you could go into here, get a new button, and yes. get a Q&A button yes. inside your report. What you're seeing over here is actually a fully fledged visualization. So if I jump into the visualizations pane, you can see here. It actually is a Q&A visual. I like it. It's like a little chat box. Yeah. And so uh, the first thing you can see here is you're prompted with suggested questions. So, so is there anything about Warcraft in there? Um, I'm a big World of Warcraft. I am not sure. Okay, well, do, do you want to? We may explore at some point we, later we may, on. Okay. We may ask some questions. We may about run Warcraft. it through its trials. Sure. Um, but what's cool about these questions is they're automatically uh, generated by Power BI. I didn't have to do anything to set them up. So if I'm interested in, let's say, the number of games by genre, I can select that. Power BI automatically plots it. And what's really cool about this experience is this now just becomes a seamless visualization integrated into my report. It's very cool. So if I, let's say, look at my sentiment by platform over here and I select this bar, the visualization just cross filters like any other visual. Oh, yeah. that's nice. It didn't do that before. No, before it was the pop-up experience. Yep. So everything was out of the context. Yes. But now it's just part of your report, which is very cool. Very nice. OK, so let's go ahead and actually uh, type a question from scratch. So uh, let's look at something like maybe global sales uh, by maybe my producers of video games. Awesome. Okay. And you'll see something interesting over here. We've answered a question, Q&A plotted a visual, but you'll see producers actually underlined in red. So Q&A did not understand that term, but it still answered the question. Interesting. How did it know? What it was? Yeah. Well, what it's actually doing is um, we've integrated Q&A with the Office Thesaurus. So we were automatically annotating the whole data model with synonyms. So we've actually were able to understand what you were actually asking for was global sales by publisher. Uh, you know, so I can go ahead and uh, take that suggestion. We can see the visual stays the same because we're able to recognize these awesome. terms automatically. So it just took it to the next level. Yeah. So Excellent. you don't have to go ahead and add all of the synonyms wow. to the data model. That's so nice. That's done for you. You can still do that, though? Yeah, you yeah. You still have that option. That you you, you definitely okay. do. So let, let's actually take a look at that. And, and for those folks that are wondering, what are we talking about synonyms? The synonyms are just ways that you can give hints so it knows, like, if, if in this case it was uh, what was it, Pub producer, Yeah. you could say producer is a synonym for publisher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I've actually updated the question now. Um, I've gone ahead and asked about awesome publishers. We can see we've underlined that in red. Uh, so we didn't understand it. Um, and the visualization didn't update. So we actually want to add awesome to our vocabulary for Q&A. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome, <laughs> yes. And so before, you would have had to you know, edit this YAML file, and it was very tedious to do this. But now, with the new tooling in Q&A, we have a completely new revamped experience. Ooh. Yes. So let's go ahead and compose a question. This is our first option over here. And I can submit this question to Q&A. And now we're actually going to use Q&A to train Q&A. Oh, so publishers like that. that are awesome, they have something, right? They, they have a little something. They might have, yeah. let's say, sentiment, because we did calculate the sentiment before, okay. uh, of greater than, let's say, 0 0.5. Nice. I can apply that as a definition. And you'll see over here, we're going to preview the result. Uh, things have updated. And we now understand the term awesome to mean sentiment greater than 0 0.5. Very cool. So now that this has already been added to my new vocabulary. But as an analyst, you know, I can figure out all these terms that my business users may care about. But ideally, I just want my business users to tell me what I should be fixing yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see over here, we're going to move to this fixed misunderstanding misunderstandings. We're going to move to this fix misunderstanding tab. Say that three times fast. <laughs> and what you see over here are all of the questions that were asked by my business users in the service. Nice. So you can actually connect nice. this report to a model that's been published in the service. 
and fix the questions that your users actually care about. So you get that feedback and then readjust the model and pump it back in. Absolutely. This is our feedback. Very loop. cool. So I can select something like sentiment by indie publisher. I can now uh, define, let's say, indie to be number of games is less than two. And now every time my business users ask about uh, indie publishers, we know how to handle that. Very cool. Yes, so these are all updates that are available in the latest version of Power BI Desktop. Right. Um, check them out. Let us know what you think. Yeah, if you haven't updated to the latest version, make sure you do that. Otherwise, so if you don't see it, then make sure you go do that. Is it a preview feature or is it actually? No, no, this okay. is uh, the feedback loop is a preview. Okay, so you may have to go into the preview features and check them out. Uh, if you're watching this way later, it may just be part of the, the active product then. So, okay, awesome. Absolutely. All right, guys, do you have any questions about this? I'm curious to see who's using Q&A today. Is this seem something like is like way awesome for you? Uh, and maybe we can add that in there. That's great. Uh, let us know down in the comments below. We would love to hear it and get some Absolutely. of that feedback. Uh, and then, and or, you know, maybe you've got items of that you would like to see in Q&A. We'd love to hear that too. Let us know down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick, myself, and... Justina. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video. Hey, friend. And this isn't me doing this. This is me repeating it.